The next part is what we call the data server. Now, the data server uh, manages connections to, in this term, what, we, what we're calling Tableau Server data sources. Now, there's two kinds of data sources within Tableau Server. Uh, there's what we call uh, an embedded data source. So that's actually a data source which is uh, only contained within the, the workbook that you're particularly using. Or you can have something called a, a published data source. Now, a published data source um, is, is potentially used by multiple workbooks, or it might be used for your end users for ad hoc analysis um, or some kind of natural language uh, queries that they can use through a, through a tool called Ask Data. So this is, re this is really reusable data, um, and this is, what, this is what the data server looks after. The data server isn't actually involved in any of the data sources that might be embedded within a workbook. Um, so this is only for the only for the published data source. Now, as an end user, you might see um, a connection to the data server when you're creating a dashboard for the first time. Perhaps if you're looking at a published data source. Uh, so you can see in this particular view here that I have gone to uh, connect to data from Tableau Server. Uh, again, this is a this is a sample sample server that we've got set up. And when I've clicked on uh, Tableau Server as a way of connecting to data. I can see two published data sources uh, that I can use for that I can use for ad hoc analysis. You might also see these connections to these published data sources actually within the uh, the Tableau Web Edit view. Uh, so this is another view where rather than actually create a dashboard using Tableau Server, I actually decided to start creating this dashboard. Uh, sorry, rather than create a dashboard using Tableau Desktop, I should say. I've actually chosen to create a dashboard using using Tableau Server using the web edit functionality. Um, so this is something that is available to users if you have uh, Explorer licenses for, for Tableau Server uh, that don't necessarily need the the full creator license or a uh, a hard copy of Tableau Desktop installed on their machine. And again, I see the same published data sources um, from from the uh, the data server that I did when I use when I use Tableau Desktop. 